Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So determine if this series will converge or if it will diverge. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, in, in order for a series to converge, the limit of this, the limit of this must be equal to zero. So first check the limit of this is equal to zero. Because in order for a series to um to converge, the limit of this thing must be zero, must be zero. So uh, so glancing at this you can't really tell. So so you can apply Lopatai's rule. So uh, map a function on top of this. Uh map a function on top of this. And then uh and then now um now as as n heads towards infinity, sorry as x heads towards infinity, this is gonna head towards infinity. Um this is going to head towards infinity. So you've got infinity over infinity, which means you can apply L'Hopital's rule, meaning you differentiate the top, that will give you one over x. Uh, differentiate the bottom, that will then give you uh, that will then give you one. So that's one over x. So uh, so the limit of this is equal to the limit of one over x as x tends to infinity. Now as x tends to infinity, this is going to head towards zero. So the limit of this is zero. So so the limit of this equals zero, then then we can't determine anything. Um, if it's anything other than zero, let's say if it's three, then we can immediately be one hundred percent sure that it's going to diverge. But because it's one, uh, because it's zero, it could still converge, it could still diverge. So so if it's zero is indeterminate. But if um if uh, if it's anything other than zero, we can be one hundred percent sure it's going to diverge. So so that's um, that didn't really tell us anything. So uh, so now we can use um. Well, there, there are lots of ways of doing this. We can use um, the direct comparison test. So with the direct comparison test, you start out with this, you start out with this, and then um, and then you, you can actually say this thing will always be bigger or equal to this thing here because if you look at if you look at the natural log, natural log looks like this. So natural log looks like that. Beyond a certain point, it will always be bigger than one. It will always be bigger than one. So what I'm saying is, this thing here is, is always bigger or equal to the number 1. Because look, natural log of n, after a certain point, it will always be bigger, it will always be bigger than, than the number 1. So, so we can actually, well, the numerator is always bigger than the 1, then we can say the whole thing is bigger or equal to, to this thing here. Because if you look at the natural log graph, it looks like this, beyond whatever value this may be, it's always, um, it's always bigger than the number one. So we can actually say this whole thing, because this thing here is always bigger or equal to this thing here, we can actually say the whole thing here is bigger or equal to this whole thing here. So now let, let's look at this. If, if you look at, um, if you look at the denominator, for example, let's say you've got one over seven. If I add something to the denominator, let's say if I add one to the, to the denominator, then, uh, then, then you can say that the new thing will be uh, will be smaller or equal to this thing here. It's strictly smaller, but but I do have the right to use smaller or equal to. So, uh, so if you look at uh, if you look at this here, so so imagine if you have one over seven. If you add something to the denominator, if you add an extra bit, let's say two, say. So if you add an extra two to it, then then you can say that this thing here will be smaller or equal to this thing here. Now, looking at the denominator. I'm going to add an extra one into here. So that, so the denominator, well if I'm adding something to the denominator, then this thing must be smaller or equal to this thing here. Now, with a direct comparison test, we, we always consider, uh, we, well hang on, we, if you sum up everything here, uh, n equals two, uh, in, uh, infinity, n equals two, infinity. Now this thing we know that it's, this thing here is going to diverge. Well, this thing here is bigger or equal to to this thing here. Uh, well, if, if this thing here is bigger, uh, sorry, if this thing here diverge, so so you've got if this thing here diverge, well, this thing being always being bigger or equal to has no choice but to also to diverge. It can't, it, it can't, it can't, um, it can't go, it can't converge because it has to be always be bigger or equal to to this thing here. The point is that. This thing here diverge, this thing here diverge, well this thing being always being bigger or equal to has no choice. It can't go over like that. It has no choice but to also to diverge. So therefore, this thing here will diverge. Okay?